Good morning, and welcome to Flannel Hill Farm. Um, this is crazy, you guys. This is absolutely crazy. So, I know, like, nature happens quickly, but this is insane. So, I've basically been showing you guys these plants every day. And look at what has happened in just like 24 hours I have and I have like bunch of them there's lots of them in there so we have flowers coming in on these melons which is great we have flowers oh look look at how many flowers we're gonna have a melon problem Oh, this one's got one too. It's three of them, four of them. This one's got some too. It's on the back side. I didn't even see it. This is crazy. I'm go down here. These, this middle section didn't come up. Those were those um, Minnesota seeds that didn't work out. The ones that did come up are the ones that I saved. So, this is absolutely crazy. Wow. Okay, so if there's flowers on that, what else changed? You like my shirt? It's pink. Oh, look at how big these got. Now you can actually see where the potatoes are. I can just put you guys down here like this and you guys can see they got pretty big here. Wow. And the beans are just going to town. See over here? We got beans in that next row here. This is crazy like one day can look at all these potatoes there's a cluster here it's a pretty good cluster this is insane all right I was out here um, using that new bully tools weeding hoe and then I noticed the flowers so, distraction. Okay, we got our T posts up yesterday. So now I just gotta run the string down and between the T posts and then down to the plants because these peas could use it and so could these cucumbers. This is crazy. I got more cucumbers, they just didn't come up the first time, so I had to replant. But, wow. Don't have very many pea plants either, but it could be because of the heat. So, I get that. Radishes are still looking good. All right, let's see what's happening with the squash. Zucchini slash spaghetti squash. Gotta be careful though, cause these runners for the sweet potatoes are coming through the, the walkways. I don't wanna step on them. Looking to see if I can find, ooh, they got really nice prickles on them. I think the squash and the sweet potatoes are just going to kind of meander into each other. Which is fine. Wow. No flowers on the squash yet. Or zucchini. And these sweet potatoes are just going to town. I'm just going to let those go. 
I was talking to my mom yesterday and I have this, I want to know like if there's sweet potatoes down there and my mom's like, don't dig it up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just let it go. Like, I know you're right, but my curiosity is getting the better of me here. Look at these. Expanding. So these are pumpkins and winter squash in here. This is awesome. So, I do believe that A1 priority today is getting the this board up specifically for the um, lean-to. Let me show you. I believe dogs came out with me. I don't know where they went. So this board needs to go up there to attach the rafters for the lean-to. So we went into town last night and we got everything we think we'll need for it. And we're gonna try and do that. I believe that's, that would be nice on the south side to kind of shade the side of the shed. It'll keep the red shed a little cooler. In theory, that's how that's supposed to work. You yeah, know. Big K doesn't like the word should. He goes, there you go, shooting all over yourself. Hmm. Okay. So, um, let me see if I can get a good before picture or before thing. So you see this, how grassy this is here? So this thing, if you just take it with two hands and you dig it out, look at that, it just cuts basically and pulls it, that's crazy. This thing works wonderful. So I gotta do, in between doing the lean-to, I'm gonna have to weed for sure and string up my T-posts. So, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, but as a temporary measure, I think it's my best option. Um, I am going to Dog is not happy. Not my dog, but a dog is not happy. Uh, these. I'm gonna use this rope, and I'm gonna tie it one end to one uh, T post, and then run it to the other end and tie it, and then I'm gonna cut strings that are gonna hang down to each plant, and then that plant will be able to curl up this and this is a hundred feet so this should be plenty of rope that's the idea it does work for people but you know not everything that works for everybody else will work for me so we'll see um we have big k got some galvanized wire this is some big wire nine gauge and that we will cut probably have to use bolt cutters for that we'll cut and we'll make little hoops and then you can put um some like netting over it for bugs and birds or you can put shade cloth to keep the sun off of it so the sun doesn't burn it so I think I found a dog. If that's not my dog. You see that little black 
something out there. <laughs> oh, that's a beagle. That's a Ben. Bentley! So, lean to and weeding and keeping track of Beagle that appears to be the day. Oh, stringing up that trellising. I can't forget about that. That really does need to happen. Hey, Ben! How about we don't? I think coyotes got a deer. And so they keep coming down here and like chewing on the remnants. Dogs. Come on, no! Get out of there! Hey! Hey! Drop it! Well, now that I made it down the hill for you guys, it's only a little bit longer. If you guys wouldn't mind liking, sharing, and subscribing on your way down the hill, hit that little bell notification button. I'm going to have to chase after a beagle and get him to spit something out. I really do appreciate y'all.